Welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Thursday, October the 5th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia, and I'm reading from the selections uh, of scripture chosen by the Revised Common Lectionary, Year A of the Three Year Cycle. We're in the church season called After Pentecost. And as it's Thursday, we have a new psalm to be repeated until Monday. So we will begin with Psalm 80, verses 7 to 15. Restore us, O God of hosts. Let your face shine that we may be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. You drove out the nations and planted it. You cleared the ground for it. It took deep root and filled the land. The mountains were covered with its shade, the mighty cedars with its branches. It sent out its branches to the sea and its shoots to the river. Why then have you broken down its walls so that all who pass along the way pluck its fruit? The boar from the forest ravages it, and all that move in the field feed on it. Turn again, O God of hosts. Look down from heaven and see. Have regard for this vine, the stalk that your right hand planted, and for the son whom you made strong for yourself. A reading from the Old Testament uh, comes from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 2, verses 14 to 22. The prophet writes, Is Israel a slave? Is he a home-born servant? Why then has he become a prey? The lions have roared against him. They have roared loudly. They have made his land a waste. His cities are in ruins without inhabitant. Moreover, the men of Memphis and Taphanes have shaved the crown of your head. Have you not brought this upon yourself by forsaking the Lord your God when he led you in the way? And now, what do you gain by going to Egypt to drink the waters of the Nile? Or what do you gain by going to Assyria to drink the waters of the Euphrates? Your evil will chastise you, and your apostasy will reprove you. Know and see that it is evil and bitter for you to forsake the Lord your God. The fear of me is not in you, declares the Lord God of hosts. For long ago I broke your yoke and burst your bonds, but you said, I will not serve. Yes, on every high hill and under every green tree, you bowed down like a whore. Yet I planted you a choice vine, holy of pure seed. How then have you turned degenerate and become a wild vine? Though you wash yourself with lye and use much soap, the stain of your guilt is still before me, declares the Lord God. Our last reading will be coming to us from the Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 2, verses 16 to 23. The apostle writes, Therefore, let no one pass judgment on you in questions of food and drink or with regard to a festival or a new moon or a Sabbath. These are a shadow of the things to come, but the substance belongs to Christ. Let no one disqualify you, insisting on asceticism and worship of angels, going on in detail about visions puffed up without reason by his or her sensuous mind, and not holding fast to the head, from whom the whole body, nourished and knit together through its joints and ligaments, grows with a growth that is from God." If with Christ you died to the elemental spirits of the world, why, as if you were still alive in the world, do you submit to regulations? Do not handle, do not taste, do not touch, referring to things that all perish as they are used, according to human precepts and teachings. These 
Oh, these have indeed an appearance of wisdom in promoting self-made religion and asceticism and a severity to the body, but they are in no value, absolutely of no value in stopping the indulgence of the flesh. This is your eternal word, Almighty Father God. And we praise you for your generous provision of it to us. Grant, Father, through the power of your Spirit, that these words may be written in our minds and hearts and very souls, wherein they can work in us what is good and pleasing to your will. And we pray this to your glory in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our soon returning King. Amen. Friends, I commend you for taking a few minutes out of your day to listen to the Word of God being read. It is a good thing for your souls, and it is a helpful thing in your discipleship as you follow Jesus. I've taken all of the references for today's readings, both option one, which I read, and option two, and put them in the description for this video so that you can have access to them, look them up, and read them for yourselves, which I do urge you to do. And until we are together again, I pray that will always be tomorrow, to hear the scriptures chosen for that day in the lectionary. Go in the grace and the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.